Well, let's talk to Education Minister Graham Cregeen and... Uh, uh, Thursday morning, uh, industrial action short of uh, a strike. Uh, we'll start with two of the unions and the third potentially coming along as well towards the end of the week or beginning of next week. Uh, what can you say to reassure parents? What's going to happen yeah. in the schools tomorrow? Yeah, yeah and I'm sure you know, parents are going to be worried about how this is going to affect their, their children and young people's education. And, you know, we're pleased that the unions have said this won't affect uh, the children's education. This, the, you know, classes are going to go, schools will be open. Um, the main impact will be is the interaction between some of the staff and my department. So it'll be like training days and, and, and things like that. So normal school days will be carrying on. A lot of... Uh... Uh, the teachers and the head teachers do stuff out of hours as well or in the lunch hour and I think that's off the agenda as well from now well what they've said is that they, they, they there's uh, I think they said there was some of the after school clubs will still continue but it, it's just a general interaction with the department so um, you know we, they, they've said that it won't be in, interfering with the school day you're saying, obviously, you're delighted it's not going to affect uh, uh, the ch children's education within the primary and secondary schools and, indeed, up at UCM. But, potentially, it could in the not-too-distant future, unless yes. you get round a table and sort this out. Well, what we've done all along is, you know, the department offices, the doors have always been open. We've put a number of offers to the unions. Uh, we've offered arbitration. You know, we're going through the Manx Industrial Relations Service. Um, you know, there's a, a date that's been offered for the 5th of uh, February to meet there. My officers have cleared their diary so that they can uh, attend that. You know, if the unions come forward uh, tomorrow and say we want to meet tomorrow, they will clear their diaries so that we can have these discussions. There is this X issue, isn't there, which uh, I know was uh, uh, looked at during a programme on Manx Radio on Tuesday evening. The unions are saying you've got to come up with what X is, whereas you're saying you don't know what X is. Well, uh, aren't you being a bit stubborn just for the sake of it here? No, because what we've actually done is we've made a number of offers, which they've said... Isn't Including what X is? Well, we've just made a number of offers. So they've, they've said that they want their annual increase and we've given them a, an additional sum on top of that. Um, and they said no. But so we've we've said you know we, we can we'll put a provisional uh, deal on the table which they've refused. Um, so the situation is we've made offers, so we need a we need a counter offer to know sort of what sort of ballpark they're looking at. They say you're not negotiating or trying to negotiate in what the standard way is elsewhere. In, in I, I, the thing is we've actually made those offers. And, you know, I think most people realise that when people go into negotiations, you know, both sides say what they're looking for. Um, my department has put offers to the unions um, and, you know, through the Manx Industrial Relations Services, you know, we will be going through that process. But ultimately, this is about our children, young people's education, and we're keen to try and get this to some resolution. The fourth union uh, has rejected an offer that's been put to them and they could indeed join the other three before too long. Uh, and you've got four unions then potentially going on strike. Yes. And uh, one of the things is, you know, like we said, our door is always open. We are we are very keen to go forward through the Manx Industrial Relations Service. We have offered binding arbitration uh, for what one of the unions has said is the 1819 uh, pay implementation. So we've offered binding arbitration on that. And you know, so that offer is still there that we can go to binding arbitration on it. How can you deal with the unions when they've had a vote of completely unanimous at the meeting at Braddon Church and no confidence in you as minister? Well, what we've actually done is we've made offers. Now, what the unions have to do is they have to You've say... You've made offers, but that's an entirely different thing for them to actually have a vote of no confidence in but, a, a government think, minister. But I think what you're looking at is when they've gone... Th you know, the unions have been aware that we've actually uh, offered Manx Industrial Relations Service to try and come to a resolution on this. They've still gone ahead with their ballot to put their... You know, to put that in the back pocket as a pressure that if we don't get what we want... We've got these actions coming forward. So there's a process that they're going through. 
you know, what I've said is that we've we've always been keen to try and come to a resolution on this. And that's what we're, we're continuing to do is to try and say, let's go to the Manx Industrial Relations Service and try and come to a resolution. They have no confidence as well in the department as a whole. But, you know, the situation that we're in is that we've made offers, we've offered binding arbitration. Uh, it's how what else can we actually do? Because we've we've gone through the process. We've had meetings with the unions where uh, we actually went through the Manx Industrial Relations Service with the NEU. Uh, the NEU thought that they could make a recommendation on that offer to their members. That was rejected. We still have the same process that we can do with the other unions. So we're using the arbitration service there to go through, and that's what they're there for. Have you thought of resigning? No. Because we're, we're going... Well, the, you don't seem to be getting anywhere. Would it be better for another politician to take on these negotiations? Politicians don't negotiate pay. This is for officers to negotiate pay. Officers negotiate pay. It's, it's not the politicians. So what we've done is we've made sure that our door is always open. What about the question of the chief minister? He's obviously said, no, it's a delegation, it's the education minister and his department for the, uh, this situation to be sorted out by. The unions still are calling for him. They'd rather talk to the chief minister than you. But the process is the process. And you know what we've said is, if, if they want to get this sorted out, our door is open. We've got the Manx Industrial Relations Service who will deal with that. We've got binding arbitration, which is still on the table. So the binding arbitration would sort out the 1819 uh, dispute. And then going forward, we need to know what sort of money they're looking for. And, you know, through officers meeting with the Manx Industrial Relations Service and the unions, that's the process that it goes through. You know, it, it's it's through those services. I, I can't see what other process there would be there apart from the Manx Industrial Relations Service sitting those parties round the table and coming through with a proposal. Are you optimistic that strike action will be avoided? Well, they, they've got an issue that um, when they put their ballot to them, is is it's entirely up to them when they action that. But I understand there is a period that once you've balloted that you have to do something or reballot. Now, I would hope that the unions would... Uh, understanding that if we're going through the Manx Industrial Relations Service that we need to see that process out before they would take any action like that because that is a sort of action that will affect our young people's education and the department is quite clear that we are trying to protect our children's education and that's why we're constantly saying to them let's get round the table let's discuss this and we need to know what sort of numbers you're looking for.